Hi guys, it is lunch time and I got this interesting package on my front door. I get the feeling I know who this is from, but you just never know. So let's open it up. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see. Puppers, you okay? Shane. Man. People don't need to get me gifts. I always feel very uncomfortable about gifts at times. <laughs> this is so cute. He actually got me a frying pan for one egg. Wow, where did he find something like that? Because I was telling him about, I bought a big wok, right? And I've been using that to cook all of my stir fries, so I'm very stingy about what I'm buying nowadays and I mentioned how I technically don't need a frying pan because I have this big ass wok but it's so annoying cleaning that every time I need to make something small like oats and two eggs so I told him oh hi I told him I wanted to get a small pan <laughs> so I mean I, I don't know where he I guess Amazon has small pans like this because I was literally telling him like I wanted a five inch <laughs> frying pan for two to three eggs that I fry at a time so this is cool and he got me a Ramsey's candle oh he he taped his face over it so Ramsey's I have talked about him before he is the carry player for VP which is my favorite Dota 2 team they are Russian so this is his face it's also kind of funny too because i read on reddit the other day how someone wrote about oh only teenage girls like ramses because they all think he's so cute and i kind of got a little self-conscious about that i was like damn am i preying on some young boy he's actually i think he's like 19 now so he's an adult technically Yes, he looks kind of cute. He has like a baby face, so I do think he is cute, but... <laughs> Alright, last thing. He got me a gift card to Outback Steakhouse because a while back I told him about door dashing steak to my house and it is actually insanely priced to deliver these foods to your house. Steak is just a little bit more because of the natural price of the meal itself it's like $25 I think so with shipping with fees and with tip it's over $30 for one fucking meal which is a lot so that's probably why he got me this but he is so kind I'm just not the type of person to naturally give gifts and I guess for some people um, other people similar to me who tend to keep their birthday on the down low I guess I technically haven't since I started vlogging and randomly doing Instagram so I tend to talk a lot about my life and myself so if my birthday is coming up I will mention it but I'm not the type of person that wants to broadcast it like at work you know how there were those girls in high school who would wear tiaras to school on their birthday that's fucking obnoxious I don't do that but okay I have to eat oh my god it's hot outside it's hot <sighs> so Shane got me that gift card to Outback Steakhouse and I really really wanted to use it for delivery for DoorDash but they won't let you so I need to go pick it up and I know it sounds crazy lazy to not want to go even pick it up to save delivery fees, but man, I would rather pay those delivery fees. So I'm going to have to go pick it up very shortly. It's honestly very close. I think it's like a five minute drive, so it's not a big deal. Plus by now, I feel like there should be no traffic whatsoever, but normally when I come home after work, I don't want to do anything else. So going to go grab that and then I guess I will probably finish watching Pride and Prejudice because I started watching that yesterday and it would be nice to finish it today because I love that movie. Aside from that, tomorrow I need to go into work early because I need to leave around 2 to 3 p.m. Um, my landlord wants to treat the house for fleas because he has some in the back area and it's just a precaution. 
so I need to bring the cats and Riley with me out of the house for four hours, so I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. I think I'm probably going to um, go somewhere nature -y, actually. I was thinking of going to Mount Laguna, where I usually don't go, but I just figured it would be cool if I grabbed some food to go and then brought it to this picnic table area I know and just sat there and ate. It has great views and I will figure out whatever I want to do with the cats once I get there. Here's what we got right now. Milo and Sammy will share one. I don't think I have two smaller sized ones, unfortunately. It's okay though. They're brothers. They love each other and they will do fine. Now I head out. I originally was gonna get some salad or something, but I'm not hungry right now, so I don't know. We'll just wander. We go on a journey today. There's a lot of wood chips and stuff on the seat, but my kitties. Hello. They did pretty decent on the car ride over, but I have this area all to myself. And I'm really excited about that because I don't often get to come out here on a weekday, especially in the middle of the afternoon when it's still so beautiful. I don't know how long I'll end up staying here. Two hours, perhaps? Hopefully nobody else comes. Although I need to get used to that once in a while, not being so anxious about people. Alrighty, I guess I will read for a bit or maybe just wander this area stand up and stare out there for a bit probably let her wander for a bit because she's like overly excited what are you doing pups so earlier i tried to <laughs> let sammy out on the table but unfortunately he tried to jump off right away and I really don't want to deal with chasing a cat around. It's so risky, so that was not a smart move. I don't think it's a good idea, probably, to let any of them out. I was going to try Milo because he's, you know how he is. He's so freaking lumpy and he's slow. Well, he can be slow and he kind of gives no fucks, but maybe when he's outside, he's an alter ego. He didn't seem that interested in coming out, especially because I had the door open and I was trying to bait him out, but they will just sit in there and watch, I guess. I'll just put it down and talk. Aww. I'm able to go back at 6 o'clock and it is 3. So I can leave in like 2 hours. It takes an hour to get home. But I think I should enjoy it out here. I'm already really liking the solitude. I can wander a little bit. I mean, having the cats just makes me feel like I'm stuck here because I could go down over there where the views are better, but I don't want to carry them with me. The crate with both of them is probably like close to 30 pounds. I think they're 13 pounds each. So they will stay on the picnic table. <laughs> Man, I wish I had better zoom. That bird is just pecking away at the tree. It looks cool. <laughs> so I decided to park <laughs> with my trunk towards the view. This is it. It's actually pretty chilly up here. 60s. I have to wear my jacket now. Get my cutesy pups. <laughs> Man, so I am kind of freaking out a little bit because, okay, so today I had to take the cats and Riley out of the house, right? Because they were treating it for fleas just in case. Because apparently, there has been a skunk passing through the property that has fleas. That's what they said. I don't know where that concept came from. The past few days when I was looking at the pets, I don't see anything. I don't see them scratching more than usual. Riley actually never really scratches at all. So she's been looking fine. But earlier, after I got back, I saw Milo with some black specks on his forehead and that just 
freaked me out because I don't think I saw that before. But something else is I am just, I'm not confident whether it's fleas or not. Whenever I get faced with the issue of trying to figure out whether it is, I feel like I wouldn't know it unless it's really bad. So when I was young, I had a rat and my rat definitely had fleas. That one was super obvious because I would put it against my chest and then I would see all this disgusting shit on my shirt. So Milo's black specks are very small amounts. I did see something crawling on his head earlier, but when I picked it off with my comb, it was way too big to be a flea. It was definitely way too big. So I'm kind of wondering if he picked that up from us going out into the wilderness. I mean, they were both still in the crate the entire time, but it's possible that bugs landed on them. So it's also possible that even though that stuff gets on the cats, they won't live that long. They might die. I gave them flea medication this morning. I normally do not give them medication because they are indoor cats, but just because of my landlord talking about the problem, it made me nervous. And since I was taking them outdoors today, I decided to give them some. When I check Milo, I don't see anything crazy. Um, some of the specks on him, I suspect, might come from his chin because his feline acne creates like black specks on his chin. And it's possible that he like, cleans himself to the point where some of it might get on his head, some of it gets on his body. So I feel like me being inexperienced at this flea stuff, I might mistake some of that black specks for flea stuff. He was on the couch with me, I was watching a movie, and I was looking at his forehead, and I was like, oh god, what are these black specks? And then when I looked closer, I saw that bug moving in his head, I was like, holy fuck, like I just started freaking out. Um, I got stressed and am still stressed very easily because fleas just scare the heck out of me. I really don't want to deal with an issue, a complete outbreak. I really do not want to deal with that. So even though they treated the house earlier, I'm just freaking nervous. And as a result of that, I have my sheets being washed. I decided to strip down my couch as well to be washed. I'm still so freaking nervous. I have Milo in the crate for now because I'm just scared. I don't want him to be next to my other pets even though I'm not certain if it is fleas or not. I bought a flea comb just in case and I'll brush it and just see because uh, I just wished I had more confidence in knowing stuff like this. So I checked Sammy earlier. I don't really see any black specks on Sammy. Riley is hard to check, but I checked the areas like inside her legs, if you want to call that, both, all four legs, the armpit areas, those are the warm spots, right? So I checked those and she looks fine, honestly. Um, Riley is regularly on flea and tick medication, of course, so I guess if any were to stay on her, they would die eventually, but oh my god, I just can't. I find it so hard to relax tonight after having that scare and not being confident about it. Washing my stuff, it kind of sucks though because since I'm washing my couch cushions, I can't sit and relax and watch a movie. That's usually what I've been enjoying doing. So both my bed and my couch are off limits. That means I'm stuck with my computer chair, which isn't comfortable for viewing stuff in my opinion, not for hours. I'm kind of bummed out about it because I'm so tired from today. I've been awake since 6 a.m. and I feel like it would have been nice to get good night's rest, but I feel like, depending on how long it takes to wash my sheets and make sure they are fully dry, I might not sleep until late. So, I'm kind of unhappy about this. Hopefully it's just a scare, but I'm really bad at managing my emotions during times like this specifically, which is kind of interesting because I was talking to somebody earlier who I knew from WOW in BC, um, someone I don't talk to often and I haven't spoken to him since then. We were randomly talking about personality tests and he linked me some and I was taking them. There were a few statements where it was like, you let your emotions overtake you or something along that sense and I was like, 
hell no, that's not me. <laughs> but in this situation right now, it slightly did overtake me. I will have to say that this once I saw that bug crawling over Milo's head, I was fucking going nuts inside and definitely freaking out. Like I felt very, very badly internally. But I did get that bug off Milo. God, man, this sucks. All right, now I'm going to work on trying to take my mind off this, but I guess I will also vacuum the house. I, I, I'm fucking paranoid, man. I need to clean up.